guess what? This is Italy! We made it! Finally. It really wasn't as bad as it could have been by a long shot. Apparently the flight to Paris that we missed was really bumpy and a lot of people got sick. So, and we got to go to Germany, which everyone else didn't. Germany was interesting. It was very clean. Very, very quiet. Everyone was creepy quiet. Like, no one talked. And it may have been that it was like 6 in the morning, but it was still weird. Germans, you should talk. And so then we got to the villa and we got to walk around in Skindichi a little bit. Uh, I think I have some clips from that adventure. Look at this building! It is not actually here. It is a fake. We tried cappuccinos and some cheese and we got to see a lot of the local businesses and kind of get a feel for the town, which was really great because this is like our immediate community for the next couple months. And everyone's been really, really nice so far, all the Italians that we've met. Robbie, our kind of house parent, is pretty much friends with everyone. Like, like, greet in the street and kiss on both cheeks friends, like super friends. So that's been easy. He just goes around and helps us with everything. Oh, we also got to try this um, fried, new fried place where they fry like vegetables and fish and stuff. And it, we had fried sage and fried artichoke and fried polenta, which was like cornbread. And it was pretty good. It was really interesting. Like I wouldn't have ever thought, you know, today I'm going to go and eat fried sage. But it was really good actually. So I learned something new every day. We had... Um, my first meal at the villa was dinner, and it was really great. We had soup and all kinds of fresh vegetables and fruits, so that was great. Uh, right now, it's kind of free-for-all. Um, everyone's, like, playing uh, the piano and games, I'm assuming. Everyone's downstairs making a lot of noise. By far the weirdest thing that happened to me while I was in Germany, which was only, like, a couple of hours, was this guy that was the, like, train to the plane conductor. I was holding, they had complimentary cappuccino machines, which was my first cappuccino of three for the day, which may explain why I'm not having any jet lag yet. But, um, for number one cappuccino had the empty cup, was going to take it with me, so I didn't litter in super clean Germany, and he, like, starts yelling and, like, waving his arms at me, and, like, I didn't know what to do. I... I tried to figure out what he meant, and I, I somehow figured out that he was, like, upset by, by the cup, and that he didn't want me to take it on the bus tram thing, but there was no waste receptacle, garbage bin, whatever you want to call it, and, and I just was like, I'll just take it and throw it away, and he was like, no, 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 and so I just, he, he wanted me to just set it on the ground. I, I don't know why... I'm still confused about this situation. I just went with it. I put the cup on the ground, went on the bus. Don't know what happened to it after that. Hopefully it got put in the garbage can because I just left it on the ground as per his orders. Weird European experience number one. Speaking of lists, um, our MERS count is up to one in the German airport. Like, solid MERS. There was a shoulder strap, and it was square, and, I mean, unmistakable MERS. Also, our group photo count is up to three, and my friend Dylan and I made an as-yet unidentified wager number of group photos that we're going to take, and he was trying to, like, be brave or something? I don't know, guys are weird. And went with ten or less. So in the first day, we took three, and I think I'm a sure bet for this bet. Oops. Um, yeah. So those are the lists. Um, I've kind of gone on longer than I meant to with this little weird hedge together video, and so I think I'll put off my philosophical break that I was planning uh, until maybe tomorrow or later, depending on how busy we are, 
Um, at some point, I think we're going to have to actually do school. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking that I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, sleep and circadian rhythms and time zones and how it's all kind of weird to me. And also maybe show you around the villa a little bit, maybe in my room. Uh, yeah, so see you next time.